your hands over your ears. Simon says stand on one foot. Now jump. <laughs> Simon didn't say. Oh man, you got me. <laughs> now it's my turn. Simon says put your arms out like an airplane. Simon says touch your friend's nose. <laughs> <laughs> Chris? What's wrong, Dee? It's best to keep your hands to yourself, even when we're playing a game. Keep your hands to yourself? What do you mean? Let me tell you. Yesterday at recess, Maria and I were pretending to be animals, and it was fun until Maria said that monkeys like to tickle each other. And then she started to tickle me. But I didn't like it. I don't want to be tickled. And then in class, she touched my hairband without asking me. She said she wanted to feel it, but she didn't ask me first. She just did it. And then, when we played in the sandbox after school, she wanted to borrow my shovel. She just took it from me without asking first. <sighs> she didn't keep her hands to herself all day. What did you do? Well... I told Maria that she wasn't keeping her hands to herself. I said that it's not nice to touch other people without asking first. She said she was sorry, and she didn't know that it bothered me. And then she promised to keep her hands to herself from now on. She wanted to make it a pinky promise, but she asked me if it was okay first. <laughs> and I gladly said yes. Oh. Now I understand what it means to keep your hands to yourself. Thanks, Dee. You're welcome, Chris. So, do you want to keep playing, Simon Says? I have a good direction from Simon. Sure. Simon Says, keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one.